doing some electrical testing here this morning. I wanted to show kind of how I track down uh, electrical shorts or, you know, opens or modules that are weak. So, you know, there's a bunch of different schools of thought on this. Now, back in the day, you know, you could put your test light in here and separate it and you could watch the, the glow of the light. Then as um, vehicles got a little bit more complicated, they started putting in more fuses and we would, um, you know, hook a meter up like this in line. You could watch it and then we'd go through and pull fuses until the draw went away. The problem now is you can't just pull fuses because a bunch of these modules are connected together through different bus networks. And when you pull a fuse, you can either activate or deactivate and reactivate modules sort of all at the same time. So I'm going to show you here kind of what that, uh, that looks like. So right now we got a shunt hooked up here and we're pulling 513 milliamps, which is basically a half an amp. So what you do here is, <clears throat> I kind of already know which fuse this is. Of course, my testing setup here is not very good. See, we got, uh, if we go across this fuse, we're doing what we call a voltage drop test. Now, if we look over there on our meter, we can see that it slowly drops off and then kind of levels out about nine, eight tenths. So let's try this one here. See, this one goes to zero. The one next to it. drops off to zero so right here we have an active circuit okay so there's charts you can look up to figure out what eight millivolts translates into because essentially what we're doing here is a shunt works by measuring the voltage across a specific value resistor and that resistance change gives you um <coughs> Uh, milliamps or whatever whatever however it's programmed so for example here um, if we were to start pulling fuses for example this one here this is the IOD fuse so if we pull that well I'm not very good at getting this set up see on our meter over there we're going to zero right but I, yeah, this is, I need to get better at this. So if I plug this fuse back in, now everything that was on that circuit, see we're up to 1.2 amps. Now everything on that circuit is now alive again. So if we come back over to our fuse, look, our power, power consumption is going back up because what we've done is we've woken up every module on the bus. So now each one of these tests we do while this is active, is going to be an erroneous test that's going to leave us down a path that's going to lead nowhere. So the moral of the story here is um, <clears throat> don't pull fuses. Just leave them be. Make sure you trip your hood latches. Uh, if your doors are open, make sure you trip the door latches because the bus modules on these new cars will stay awake. And especially if you don't trip the doors, it'll think that the doors open, obviously, and the modules will... Um, stay awake even longer so you can see here listen we got a broken uh, mix door in there so that's what that's what it's doing right now see it's running through its test now it's going to go back to sleep so what we have here is activity on this fuse and this fuse is what is that um, m12 so on our list over here m12 we have hvac which is the one next to it here which I didn't show in this particular video, but we have amp radio. So now what we need to do is go in there and check for aftermarket accessories, uh, which I'm not going to do in this video. I just kind of wanted to show this voltage drop test uh, to figure out which circuit is alive.